All right, guys, I just got me an order for $12.81. Um, it's about 18 minutes, 3.1 miles for Five Guys, and I'm actually sitting right across the street from them. Let's head over to Five Guys. I'm uh, hoping the food's ready there. Usually as a grub hover, I have to wait uh, for the food to be made. So um, I'm interested to see how this goes. Let's go get the order. guys um whew, it's been about 20 minutes <laughs> since i was in there five guys i gave them so what happened is i got the order the 12 dollar and some change order and then i went in there to check and i was waiting to check in and i got another order for six dollars so i have two customers and i gave them both names and one of the customers came out sooner well the second one i'm watching everybody come and go and i'm getting real concerned so i was I, you know i went back and checked on the second customer and then he announces a blah 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 is here and i'm like buddy i already told you that i'm here ah 20 20 plus some minutes anyways we got the food that's a plus let's get the show on the road oh man um so i got both customers you can see them both right there i'm gonna hit the little check boxes and i made sure to get the the juice or the i think it was juice <laughs> for one of them and this <clears throat> and this restaurant customers have reported wrong or missing items so i made sure to make sure that they uh had their drinks and stuff so i'm gonna hit start delivery and uh daniel c oh. thank you for picking up and delivering if you could leave at my doorstep and ring the doorbell okay i got a message let's see here Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> uh, Daniel, one of the customers, thank you for picking up and delivering. If you could leave at my doorstep and ring the bell. I'll tell him no problem. I can do that. Let's go and get these orders dropped off. <laughs> so the first five guys order is dropped off i'm gonna go drop off the second one they are two minutes around the corner and i think they're down the block down down the street <laughs> i was like are they in the same complex that would be cool but uh it don't look like they are so uh, let's go get this last one uh, dropped off guys i on the way to uh dropping off the last five guys delivery i got a bollywood bites pdx for 18 dollars and 45 cents which i know where that is i think a long time ago i picked up the delivery from them they weren't too bad and we're doing uber eats and they're supposed to be ready from from the vibe of it what's been going on except for five guys <laughs> um 45 minutes total it's it's two pickups i'm not sure where the other one is i don't think it tells me um so 45 minutes total 7.2 miles for 18 dollars 45 let's go get her done i was thinking you know what 
might call it a night and then this came and I'm like, I'm just gonna take it. Let's keep on rolling. <laughs> I don't even know where my earnings are because it, it takes time for it to, you know, uh, uh, the tips to come and stuff. That's what it's seeming like. So um, I'm just rolling with it. <laughs> okay, so let's go get this order. Hi there, I have a Uber Eats pickup for Lex B. Perfect, thank you. You too. All right, uh, the Bollywood Bites was ready. That is a plus and it smells good. Indian, Indian food, excellent. Um, so I'm gonna hit uh, next pickup since we got two. So let's see how far the next one is and where it's at. Oh goodness. Oh man, okay. It's Taco Bell. And my instant thoughts is, it is um, 8.50 p.m. at night. And the thing with Taco Bell is the lobby may or may not be open. And if I have to go in that drive-through and it's long and it doesn't move, that ain't good. So this is a risky one, real risky. Let's cross our fingers that I can get this food fast. One, maybe there's nobody in the drive-thru or two, the lobby's open. So we're on our way. <laughs> All right, guys, I am at the Taco Bell. It's literally right around the corner. And it, it, there's nobody in the drive-thru. And from where I can see, I'm going through the drive-thru right now. From what I can see, it looks closed. The inside's lit up, but you know, the, um, the menu's usually lit. I don't know, we're about to find out. But then the, the intercom looks lit. Let's find out. Interesting. Hi, welcome to Taco Bell. What can I get for you tonight? Hi there. I have a Postmates pickup for Renee C. For Renee? Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll have that at the window. Thank you. Well, I don't know if it's me. <laughs> if that menu's supposed to be lit up or not. I thought they were, but they're open and that's all that matters. We're going to go uh, grab this order, so... Thank goodness, because this was real worrisome. <laughs> I can see where they can get you. As far as I can tell, I didn't know that it was Taco Bell. So let, oh, I think, yeah. Let me see if there's any drinks. Oh, perfect, thank you. You too. All right, it's getting windy. We got Renee's order this. <laughs> Turned out good, woo! <laughs> Okay, but I can see where this can get real risky. All right, guys, uh, let's head over and drop these orders off. I am going to hit, I'm going to put the food in the bag. I think it's in my trunk. Um, start delivery. And uh, let's see how far the first one. So Renee, the Taco Bell, four minutes, not bad. Let's get her done. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, so they're asking for your pin. I'm supposed to get a pin from you. It's weird how they're doing it. Oh, yeah. Um, eight one eight five. Eight one eight five. Okay. Yeah, I haven't. I've started doing Uber Eats, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't know why. Yeah, I that I seen that. I'm like, okay. I guess so. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. You have a great night. Thanks. Bye-bye. All right, Taco Bell's dropped off. Um, so the, the customer messaged me on the way here because her apartment's hard to find, which I can see. <laughs> so she gave me some clues on how to get here, which was very helpful. So I'm getting out. I'm getting ready to, you know, do the final delivery. I pulled up. And it says the customer has to provide me with their four-digit pin. And I'm like, this is interesting. I have not had this happen all night long. So I'm like, what is up with the four digit pin? So I messaged her, I texted her and I said, cause it was a, she wanted me to leave it at, at the door. 
So I messaged her and asked her for her four digit pin and then the door comes, <laughs> comes open. Yeah, so I got the pin and entered it and gave her the food and I'm gonna have to see what's up with that pin. Very interesting. All right, so the next delivery, the Bollywood Bites is five minutes from where I'm at. Let's go get this dropped off. All right, uh, the Bollywood's order has been dropped off and uh, that went smooth. The apartment is actually uh, easy to find, which is always a plus. Uh, so I've given it a little bit of time because uh, the tips do take a little bit to register. I think they have like an hour to either increase, decrease the tip is kind of what I'm uh, finding out. And um, so I've given a little bit of time. I want everything to register uh, for I give my numbers. Um, so today uh, was my first time and I think like I said like two years since I've done Uber Eats and I will say I actually really really enjoyed it today and um, I think I'm going to put this as part of the arsenal. It's definitely a change. I like the pictures, uh, taking the pictures for the orders. I like uh, how quick the orders are ready. Uh, pretty much at all the restaurants when I got there, the only restaurant <laughs> that it wasn't ready was Five Guys. <laughs> so, uh, you know, gotta give them a break. Sometimes it happens. Usually Five Guys is, is a reasonable. So um, it happens. So, I uh, worked five hours today and um, and that's what I had down you know with my own notes and then um, Uber has me at four hours and 50 minutes which sounds about right. I started a little bit after four is when I went online ended about 9 30 ish um, so about five hours that sounds about right. So I made 110 today after all the tips hit at the beginning, it was a little scary. <laughs> so uh, my average today was $22 an hour. I am happy with that. It makes me excited because I can go out and start earlier and possibly hit 150, 200. Um, the other thought is I know a lot of people have commented about multi-apping and, um, you know, I've done it before, like in the beginning and Grubhub was the one that paid the most and I'd have a schedule with Grubhub. And so I was always concerned about, you know, being deactivated because I know you can be deactivated for not having your deliveries done timely and, and multi-apping. I guess there's two different ways of looking at it. You got the first way of looking at it is all right, I got a Grubhub order. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take this Grubhub order. I got a DoorDash order. I'm gonna accept this DoorDash order. And then you go pick up the DoorDash, Grubhub, you're, you're juggling both. So that's one way and that's my thought. Like when people say multi-apping, that's what I'm thinking of because I've done that and that your head's spinning. <laughs> you're going in, in, in different directions. Now granted, the point is to get an order in the same direction and, and that's the goal, but that don't always happen. And then you get late drop-offs with the customer or you're late picking up at a restaurant because you're running behind, things just don't go as planned, whether it's traffic, the restaurant, not being able to find the customer or an apartment or, or whatever. So I was thinking about it, multi-apping and what I would do because I don't want to risk um, any of my accounts. So what I would do is Grubhub, I wouldn't get a schedule and I would turn on Grubhub, no schedule. I would turn on DoorDash, even though DoorDash hasn't been too good for me, but hey, I can have it on in the background, right? And then Uber Eats has been, it was good today. So <laughs> I am definitely willing to, to, to try this, absolutely. So I'd have them on. If I got an Uber Eats order, I'm gonna turn off Grubhub, I'm gonna turn off DoorDash. I don't wanna be tempted by either of these orders because if I get a big order, I may be tempted to drop Uber Eats or maybe I'm tempted to take both and try to juggle it. Fine, if, if that works for you. But for me, I've been there, I've done that. And 
I just, I just didn't like it. So I'd rather just take one order, complete it, get the customer their food on time, especially if, if DoorDash and Uber Eats from, from my experience, you know, uh, testing them out and it's been a while, the orders are ready. Grubhub, I have to wait for the orders majority of the time. You know, I got my certain restaurants, the orders are ready. So that's my thoughts. I really like it and I appreciate everybody's comments about multi-app and it got me thinking, you know, I've been on Grubhub for a while, stuck on Grubhub <laughs> for a bit and uh, Grubhub has always been good to me. Um, it's paid me the best, but times change and you do got to change with the times and and try try different things or try things again because things do change and I see that that the apps have changed. So um, I am looking forward to multi-apping <laughs> and seeing what potential uh, money I can make per day. So I'm really excited about that. Um, Oh, and then for my mileage today, so I did, like I said, I reset my odometer. I got gas today, so I was at zero. Um, so I did 60 miles today um, from starting to finish 60 miles. Um, gas, when I filled up, was 370 per gallon. And um, I was averaging today 51 miles per gallon, which is absolutely awesome good old pearl my prius <laughs> so i broke that down and my total spent today driving was four dollars and 35 cents which is not bad so that would come off of uh you know my my dollar amount but um i do track my miles um i said this in one of my other videos i use my iq it's always on in the background so um during tax season i can i can write those those miles off so um that was uh what we did today and i'm happy and i'm, I'm excited it feels it feels good doing something new and, and especially when you're seeing the results that makes me happy i like seeing results so i appreciate you guys riding with me as always all right guys bye